Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Fortune game this between two very high quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Casemiro. He gives them some real defensive steel in the middle of the park, Peter. What he's particularly good at is nipping opposition attacks in the bud and preventing them from getting any real momentum going. He's also a bit of a shooting threat from long range, too, so opposing defences will have to be aware of that, and very much so. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Werner, Zayak, and he's cut it out. Raspilicueta. Vinicius Junior gives chase. Vinicius Junior. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Deftly done. Oh, well intercepted, really alert. Oh, real danger here! Casemiro tries to clear. That is Conte. It's come through. Pulisic! That's gone a long way up and away. Danger averted for now. Zuma gets it back. Vinicius Junior. Valverde. No change to the score. Nil nil it remains. Werner with good energy in defence as well. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Hit long and direct. Good ball. Let's put a stop to that. Rafael Varan. Dashing forward at pace. Brought forward. What does he try from here? And the shot! Valverde. And now the breakaway. Vinicius Junior. Thiago Silva simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Shooting chance! Oh, the ball's come loose. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Zuma with the clearance. 
Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. It's Benzema! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Benzema simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Oh, smart save. And here's Modric. And he's there to cut it out. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Rafael Varane. Now it's Benzema. What an adventurous run from a defender. Tries to get it clear. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing. Big chance! Must be! He's gone for it! Superb goal! Well, let me assure you that scoring just before half time is always a real treat. And when it's one of your top talents who delivers it, it just seems to fuel confidence that little bit more. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's, it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Deadlock. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. The club has still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to them. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Leading 1-0 at the break. And we're already back on the way here. Chelsea really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Benzema. Has a hit! Really well taken goal. Real Madrid are level. That was easy, almost too easy. Well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for allowing him to get into such a good position. Real Madrid grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Forward it goes. Werner, Pulisic, Pulisic! It goes to show he is human after all. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. to 
add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. When it's one! Chelsea are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. Sergio Ramos. Casemiro. Pulisic. Floats one over. Modric brings it over to the other flank. Valverde. Valverde plays it forward. Benzema. He's coming hard. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. And Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Just has to be done. He's there to receive it. Fence has got rid of that. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Conte. Werner. It's Werner! A real chance and a real let-off. Real Madrid have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Thiago Silva tries to get it forward quickly. Valverde. And it's Azar. Now it's Benzema. Now it's Isco. Real Madrid are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Zena! And that would have been game, set and match. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. changes then in quick succession yeah it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off his energy levels began to to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle Isco and it's played forward he came in hard very hard and the balls come loose and the chase is on Real Madrid are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Good idea, just poorly executed. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Werner tries a shot! Sticks it away! And surely now the result 
That's beyond doubt. Chelsea are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's a clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. He's left his man. Played out to the right. Jorginho hits one. Gets good distance on it. Hoists it forward. Out to the left it goes. Rafael Baran. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. A decent win by a very competent performance. Without doubt, they were the better side, and the result reflects as much. How would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? Chelsea were very impressive here, Peter. The backbone of this team is so strong, and it proved to be the decisive area. And that's where we.